Hello and welcome back to Azure Terraformer. Today I'm answering some mail. Uh, this one comes in from Sharad Bhaskar, 8001. How can we enable if-else condition between the two dynamic blocks if we have a requirement to use either logs or metrics? This question comes related to my episode on the Azure diagnostic setting, using dynamic blocks to build the collection of logs and metrics that we track. I've implemented a module that encapsulates this functionality, and I think Sharad here is looking to maybe use if-else blocks to turn off or on logs or metrics. So let's look at the code and let's evaluate how we would do this and if this is a good idea. So I have a simple project here with an ACR and a log analytics workspace in it. Now I'm going to navigate over and we're going to go pick the code for the Azure Diagnostic settings. A few moments later. Now you'll notice that this code, this example code's all not set up, so we're just going to go fix it. Um, we need to get the resource ID of the registry. And we're not using a storage account, we're just going to store logs in our log analytics workspace. And it looks like GitHub Copilot's helping me out here a little bit by pre-filling some of these things. And then notice that these are hard-coded. So let's go look at my module and see how I implemented dyna dynamic blocks. So here's that implementation of the dynamic blocks for logs um, and then for metrics. And I'm just going to go snag this. Again, modules in Terraform are very flexible. You don't have to um, use them. Uh, they're, they're often a great source of uh, inspiration for how you actually write your code. Um, but you will have to kind of smooth the interface when you bring that into your own solution, which I'm doing right now. I'm replacing the, the variables that the that the, that the module implements with my own kind of hard-coded version of things, which I had before, but because I ripped that out and brought that in here, we um, had to replace it. And we'll just, I guess I can declare some locals that will set the retention. A few moments okay. later. And actually it looks like retention policy is disabled, so I'm just gonna turn that off. My guess is they're enabling retention policy for, uh, or disabling retention policy uh, be, and leaving it up to kind of the storage mechanism to decide how long things should be stored, which makes a lot of sense to me. So let's get rid of that and throw in our, our array of logs and then our array of metrics that we want to keep. And we'll, we'll rip out the variable and we'll throw in local, local logs and local metrics. So right now, I basically brought in that code of my module, and I've uh, I'm, I'm using I'm using it within this root module itself um, to demonstrate what we wanted to achieve. So the original question was, how can we enable if-else condition between the two dynamic blocks if we have a requirement to use either logs or metrics? So I've already set up the logs and the metrics with respective collections of values that are going to drive these dynamic blocks. But the question is, how could we set up an if-else block? Well, you could you could add um, you know a, a flag here that says um, use logs and set it to true, and you could add a flag that says use metrics and you could set that to true. Um, and then what you can do probably the best place to do that would be in this location here where you're setting it in a central spot. So you can say, I mean, you could do it, you could do it here at the local, or you could do it in the, in the for each here. Um, you could embed that Boolean expression, but that Boolean expression is going to get lost inside this, the syntax of this dynamic block. So I would recommend putting that here where you can say, use logs, question mark, and if it's true, we pass that in. And if it's not true, we pass that in. And we set use metrics, question mark. And if that's true, then we pass that in. And if it's not, we do that. So this would allow you to create a Boolean, right? That would drive, um, that would drive whether or not you're using 
logs or metrics. Now, maybe Sherat wanted to use one Boolean that would make logs and metrics mutually exclusive. So you could basically then assume, okay, I'm going to say if it's use logs, then I'm going to use logs. If it's not use logs, I'm going to use metrics instead. Um, so I could say use logs or use metrics instead. Let's just make it super clear, right? So if this is true, then we use logs. Then the question is, if this is false, we use metrics. So we have to evaluate the Boolean expression for each line here. Logs is correct. If this is true, then we have a collection full of the logs. And if it's not true, we have an empty collection. Now for metrics, it's the opposite. So if we use logs, um, then we, we actually don't want to use metrics. So we need to replace the true condition with that. And then if we are using, if we are not using logs, which this will be the second part, then we want to use metrics. And so basically you have this kind of flip-flop um, of the Boolean expression um, using this ternary operator to set um, kind of opposite values of this, of this um, equation to be an empty array. Um, so it has some kind of nice uh, parallelism between, between the design. It's not super easy to read. I would probably prefer, you know, having two Boolean operators that would drive whether you use logs or whether you lose metrics, because that'll give you more flexibility um, without really introducing a whole bunch of kind of odd Boolean, Boolean logic expressions that you have to evaluate. But it can be done. So Sherat, I hope that helped. You guys have other questions or want uh, me to do a code review, please uh, send me a GitHub link and let me know. If you like this video, please smash like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget about the new ways to support the channel. You can become an official Azure Terraformer yourself, as well as join my squad of code ninjas and receive elite access to my code reviews, and also join my inner circle for some virtual one-on-one -on -one time with me to solve your problems together. That's it for me. Until next time, this is the Azure Terraformer, signing off.